Nathaniel Sylvester was a very progressive entrepreneur whose activities had a veritable impact on the lives of the inhabitants of Kumba and its environs over a long period. Pa Latani, an elegant, quiet, and imposing gentleman, actually started life in former Victoria Limbe. He opened one of the early bars in Victoria, and that was in Coconut Island, and then he later put up another bar, Paladium Bar, at Half Mile, which rocked the town for long. Pa Latani, after some time in Limbe, moved to Kumba through a mentor, Pa Gabriel. In Kumba, he started at Baron Mekan, and he worked with a huge cooperative, which was very prominent in producing bananas. Pa Latani opened the first cinema hall, which operated with a small projector, mostly projecting black and white pictures. His cinema hall was in Fiango. He later liquidated it to Mr. Fayez Olabi, the big guru in Kumba and beyond in film cinema halls. Pa Latani owned the first township taxi in Kumba with a tennis car carrying the inscription Lili Oye. He progressed to become a major produce license and agent that was for cocoa and coffee and later opened a bar, Latani Bar, opposite the Calic Mission Fiango, which was very popular. Pa Latani was so committed in the liquor business that at one time he was president of the Bar Owners Association in Cuba with a huge depot in Fiango. While in Cuba, Pa Latani developed a vast area of land in Boya Road, which today carries cars and GTHS Kuma. In his village, Fonjumokwet, in the West region, Pa Latani created a big coffee meal. He established a football club, Latani FC, in Fonjumokwet. All of these endeavors earned him a title, Chief of Youths in his village. In Kuma, the Latani structure in Fiango still stands tall, despite the loss of an industrious and popular son, Victor Latani, Pa Sylvester Latani left behind prosperous children who extended the family dynasty to other towns in Cameroon and are established in the diaspora. Pa Latani died in 1997.